First off, I hate horror. Let's get that out of the way. But here you go. Jamie Lee Curtis stars as Laurie Strode in the slasher horror thriller that to this day, after having watched it so many fucking times, scares the living shit out of me. Because of this guy. Michael Myers. I fucking hate that mask. The movie, directed by John Carpenter, follows Laurie Strode with her friends trying to escape from this sick killer monster. Why is he a monster, you ask? I have absolutely no clue. I mean, he was mentally treated by this sick fuck, with the real evil person. Like, who the fuck knows how he's able to escape so fucking fast without anyone seeing it. The movie is still considered, to this day, after 40 years, one of the most well-written horrors in cinema. Thank you, Deborah Hill. And with John Carpenter's masterful suspense, you can't help but get excited watching this movie. Or terrified. Michael Myers, as a kid, stabs and kills his older sister for some reason and gets hospitalized and treated by this fuckface. Michael escapes 15 years later and heads back home and gets the fucking mask. The next day was Halloween and so for some reason he starts stalking this girl, Lori, you know her. And so he keeps following her and she keeps noticing him without paying any attention. I mean, yeah, sure, there's a creep with a terrifying mask outside, but yeah, no biggie. But she does tell her friends, her asshole friends, about it, but they don't believe her. Until they do. Hey, creep! The doctor keeps following Michael and finds out that he stole his sister's headstone from the graveyard. The doctor meets with this sheriff and they keep searching for Michael. Later that night, Lori is at some house babysitting this kid and her friend Annie is babysitting this one. She gets a call from her boyfriend, Annie that is, and so she takes this kid to where Lori is and goes to see her boyfriend. But she gets met with her demise by the killer for being an asshole I guess. At least that is my explanation for it. After that, Lori's other friend Linda and her boyfriend Bob go have sex in the other house and then Bob when he goes downstairs to the kitchen gets killed by Michael again I don't know why but he keeps going Michael that is he goes up the stairs impersonates Bob and then strangles Linda to death while she's talking to Lori on the phone he likes to strangle the girls Lori goes over to that house where she finds all her friends decimated Horrified, Lori tries to hide, but Michael appears behind her and slashes her arm. He missed, I guess. She runs away as fast as she can, goes back to the house where she's babysitting, fights Michael again, hides the children, but Michael goes after her. She fights him again by stabbing him with a needle, a metal hanger, and his knife even. But Michael somehow resurrects himself and attacks her again. The doctor arrives at the house somehow, and goes to investigate when he sees the children running away. He finds Michael trying to kill Lori, and so he shoots him, like five or six times, and kills him. Or so, he thought he did. The movie ends right then and there, leaving it to our imagination to find out how the fuck did this bastard survive six gunshots and run away. The End